Hello and welcome to today's video on 8 health foods that you shouldn't overeat. There are many super healthy foods out there. However, it's important to keep in mind that more is not always better. Some foods can be good for you in moderation, but seriously harmful in large amounts. Here are 8 incredibly healthy foods that can harm you if you eat too much of them. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential for our health. They fight inflammation in the body, play an important role in brain development and reduce the risk of heart disease, to name a few. Since most diets are low in omega-3, supplements have been gaining popularity. The most common supplements include omega-3 capsules produced from fish, fish liver and algae. However, too much omega-3 may be harmful. The usual dose ranges from 1 to 6 grams per day, but taking as much as 13 to 14 grams per day may have blood thinning effects in healthy individuals. This may be risk, especially for people who are prone to bleeding or are taking blood thinning medications. Furthermore, taking high amounts of fish liver oil may result in excessive vitamin A intake, which may cause vitamin A toxicity. This is of particular concern for children and pregnant women. Tuna, both fresh and canned. Tuna is a fatty fish that is usually considered to be very healthy. It is a good source of omega-3 fatty acids and is very high in protein. However, tuna may also contain high levels of an environmental pollutant called methylmercury. At higher levels, methylmercury is a neurological toxin that may cause many adverse health effects. These include developmental delays in children, vision problems, lack of coordination and impaired hearing and speech. Large tuna fish contain the most mercury, since it builds up in their tissues over time. These big tunas are very likely to be served to you as premium fish steaks are used in sushi. Smaller tunas contain lower amounts of mercury, and are more likely to be canned. There are two main types of canned tuna, and their mercury content differs. White tuna. Light in color and usually comes from albacore fish. White tuna contains 4 to 5 times the amount of mercury found in light tuna. Light tuna. Light tuna contains much less mercury than white tuna. It is darker in color and usually doesn't come from albacore fish. Tuna contains many important nutrients. However, it may also be contaminated with methylmercury due to pollution of the oceans. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is a delicious, widely used spice that may have some medicinal properties. It is high in antioxidants and has been shown to fight inflammation and lower blood sugar levels. Eating cinnamon has also been linked to a reduced risk of heart disease, diabetes, cancer and neurodegenerative diseases. However, cinnamon contains high amounts of a compound called coumarin, which may be harmful in large doses. There are two main types of cinnamon, with different amounts of coumarin. Cassia. Also known as regular cinnamon, cassia cinnamon contains a relatively high amount of coumarin. Salon. Known as the true cinnamon, salon is the less common of the two. It is much lower in coumarin. Cinnamon is antioxidant-rich and linked to several health benefits. Yet it also contains coumarin, which may be harmful in large doses. Of the two types of cinnamon, salon cinnamon contains less coumarin. Nutmeg. Nutmeg is a spice with a very unique taste. It is often used in Christmas foods like eggnog, cakes and puddings. Nutmeg contains a compound called meristicin, which is a psychoactive substance. In lower doses, nutmeg provides flavor to meals without affecting health. But in large doses, nutmeg may cause meristicin poisoning. The effects of meristicin poisoning include seizures, heart arrhythmias, nausea, dizziness, pain and hallucinations. Eating more than 10 grams of nutmeg in one sitting is not recommended. Higher doses than that have been shown to cause symptoms of toxicity. Coffee. Coffee is a wonderful beverage that is loaded with antioxidants and other active compounds. It has been linked with numerous health benefits, including a reduced risk of liver diseases, type 2 diabetes and neurodegenerative diseases. The active ingredient in regular coffee is caffeine, with each cup containing an average of 80 to 120 mg. A daily intake of 400 mg is generally considered to be safe. 
However, consuming more than 500 to 600 mg per day can be excessive. This may overwhelm the nervous system, causing insomnia, nervousness, irritability, stomach cramps, heart palpitations and muscle tremors. The amount of caffeine needed to experience these side effects differs widely between individuals. Some can drink as much coffee as they want, while others experience symptoms with small amounts of caffeine. Liver Organs are the most nutritious parts of animals, and liver is the most nutritious organ of all. It is very rich in many essential nutrients, such as iron, B12, vitamin A and copper. However, a 100-gram portion of beef liver contains more than six times the recommended dietary intake RDI, of vitamin A, and seven times the RDI of copper. Vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin, meaning it is stored in our bodies. Therefore, an excess may cause symptoms of vitamin A toxicity. These symptoms may include vision problems, bone pain and an increased risk of fractures, nausea and vomiting. Eating too much copper may cause copper toxicity. This can lead to oxidative stress and neurodegenerative changes, and may increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Even though liver is incredibly healthy and nutritious, it should not be consumed daily. Eating it once per week is enough. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you.